Hello everyone, welcome back to Echo FX. Right to Happy New Week, Happy New Trading Week, and Happy New Month to each and every one of us. I hope you're an amazing. I hope you're good. So July is over, right? <laughs> so July is over. Welcome to the month of August. All right. So I'm pretty optimistic about this week in regards to market opportunities. All right. Last week started amazing. Um, we have we had NFP last week on the first Friday of August, which was on the third if i'm making a mistake on the second rather and it was actually pretty bad for the dollar let's just have a brief overview of how that went all right so we can clearly see that each data that came out on that friday from the us zone came out negative and i'm actually going to show us on the chat quite briefly how that played out um on the chat all right so this week is actually kind of wait we're not having so much red for the news all right so we're going to be having a lot of um technical trading and we're going to be looking at the market to spot some amazing opportunities all right so if you're able to watch the video last week you know that there were so many opportunities from the market and you know you could have made quite a number quite some good money from the market if you watched and followed the analysis all right so we'll be going into today's analysis uh, any moment from now but before we go uh, if you're here to subscribe guys i don't know i've been saying this week in week out come on click on the subscribe button all right so click on the subscribe button like this video and you also put down a comment share with your friends share with your enemies let them stop disturbing you for money let them make money for themselves too all right so just share with those people that you know text you quick um 2000 uh, or try to let them make money too for themselves all right so i mean support the channel like subscribe share and put down a comment all right so thank you thank you thank you thank you all right so let's go straight into the video all right so we're having um a bank holiday from the canadian zone for monday then we have we have ism services pmi that same monday which is tomorrow by 3 p.m gmt plus one all right so going into the next day we have um the monetary policy from the australian zone early hours of the morning all right and going to that same day later in the evening we have unemployment rate and employment change from the new zealand zone all right so going back again to the monetary policy statement from the australian zone they had their cpi came um come out last week and it came out bad right actually means that inflation in the economy of the australia is actually easing let me quickly show us that all right we can see it actually came out you can see CPI year on year came out. It actually dropped by 0.2%, which shows that inflation in the economy somewhat is easing. And if, you know, with that information, right, there's a very high chance that there may be a rate cut on, you know, um, or just leave the the current policy or the current cash rates the same, or there could be a potential drop or rate cut. And if that should happen, it's going to pull out a lot of negative sentiment for the Australian zone. Well, let's see how that play out on Tuesday. All right, so going into Wednesday, we don't have so much. We just have PMI from the Canadian zone. Then on Thursday, we are having inflation from the New Zealand and also unemployment claims from the US zone. Then going into Friday, we have unemployment rate and unemployment change from the canadian zone all right so that's literally all we have for this week in regards to fundamental so let's go straight into the chat let's see what we have on the chat so i've actually plotted out some important levels on the chat and these are actually levels from last week if you watch the video you know that these were levels from the last week um this is usd idx which is the dollar index all right so potentially we're looking for some bearish move all right well ideally Remember what I said that if price should break out below this zone, we could actually see some potential downside on the US dollar. And that is exactly what happened. Although this move was actually due to the NFP data that was released on Friday. All right, that data came up negative, like we saw um, on our Forex factory. And this is on the chat. This is actually the move. Let's go to the one hour time frame. You can see how massive the move was this was actually um some great move if you actually on this trade you could have made some good profit from the market so everything was actually well looked at and it was more or less like a technical move also fueled by fundamental you understand all right so basically what we should expect is um you know looking at the fact that that's particular 
outcome or results could spill into the new week all right so we could actually see more potential downside on the um on the dollar index all right so potentially if you're looking at it all right we should actually see should actually see all right let me drop let me quickly put out um a key level here all right so this is actually what we can look at we can actually more or less see like a retracement so any retracement you see basically you can actually sell all right any retracement you see you can actually you know sell the dollar index all right so put down sell the dollar index into this key level on the daily time frame this is a level that we're looking at the dollar index achieving all right let me quickly let me pull that out again somewhere around um 102.70 yeah 102.70 is not so much but that is ideally the level we should see and if price should actually break out of that level which actually we could actually see the dollar index trading into the one all right let's look at it together 102 well somewhere around the 101 level ideally sharp yeah ideally so that is a level we could actually see the dollar index trading into all right so let's go into euro usd all right so we can actually see how the dollar index impacted the euro usd i mean it was it was really interesting this was, was over um a hundred pips i'm not making a mistake let's look at it yeah that was like that's like nine nine hundred and nine hundred and eighty two points which is 98 pips all right so quite interesting quite interesting all right so let's look at it, what we should expect for the new week on the euro usd all right you can actually see that remember i said last week that on euro usd if you see a sell into this key level first of all that you can look for buying opportunity and i mean if you actually um heeded to that advice you could have made some good bucks from this market all right you can you could have made quite a, quite, quite a lot from the market all right if you heeded to that and you can see the euro usd right now it's trading above a key level on the daily time frame. You can see this level over here. Price broke above, above it before, but actually, you know, made a retracement. But now it clearly broke above it with this long candle. It's actually a lot of bullish momentum, if you ask me. Just on Friday, we had EURUSD push up about 146, 140 average, 140 pips. I mean that is actually quite interesting and if that momentum should continue to a new week so easy easy you just want to wait for look for a retracement into the zone all right look, wait for a retracement and then you can take your buys back into this level up here all right so um that is ideally what i'm looking out for for euro usd nothing more than that all right so i don't literally see a sell coming in because the dollar is actually very weak you can actually see from the nfp data that um there's no nothing you know quite positive that's coming out from that zone and if that should continue we should see more upside on your ears just a little retracement into the zone that's what i'm looking at and you can actually take your buys into this level over here or if that retracement doesn't come in all right maybe we see the market just pulling up early hours of the morning all you can do is just put your um pending order above this level more or less like a buy stop so if price should pull up, it's going to um, activate you and you can actually take your trade into this level. It's about a 40 pips move. I mean, um, not, it's not going to be a bad day or a bad way to start the Monday. All right. So ideally, that is how um, we, have, we should actually look out for Euro USD. All right. So on USD card, let's look at Euro USD, USD card briefly. All right. So on USD card, uh, the I mean, the buys is still very strong. USD card is still very, very, very weak. All right it's still very weak at the moment and if that weakness should continue we should actually see uh, more upside for usd card although you can actually see the last time price got to the last time price got to the point is actually trading at we saw a massive seller from that level and price is already is actually trading at that level again it's currently re rejecting from that level and if that should continue we may see a possible downside all right more or less like a retracement All right, you actually see more or less like a retracement. All right, but if because there's no no strength from the USD card, all right, there's no strength at all from the USD card. So what I ideally expect is you may just want to wait for a breakout of this high. 
a price should trade break out of the let's go to the one the, the four hour time frame all right let's go to the four hour time frame all right so you may want us to want to wait for a breakout of this high maybe somewhere around this level if price should trade above and break out then you can take your buys right you can actually take your buys because um but like i said there's nothing good coming out from that zone all right so this is a level we may look at usd card coming in too let's check it on the four daily on the four hours all right yeah it's actually a lot of move all right quite a number of move well if you actually look for that breakout all right you can actually see um about 70 70 70 pips movement and i mean that's actually good money all right that's actually good money so that is one thing you actually or if you are patient enough um you can actually just wait for a potential breakout all right a brief retracement and then a continuation to the upside yeah so ideally that that's actually how i'm looking at usd card so but if anything comes comes out good probably due to because you know that the usd card are expecting their employment data on friday and if that should come out positive i would just anything i want to make me take a sell i'll just be waiting for a complete breakout of all of these key levels here so a breakout below so that this trend all right this move to the upside or this trend to the upside can be invalidated all right let's go to four hours so we can draw it better right yeah so this trend to the upside can actually be invalidated all right so what we want to see price break clearly to you know break the, the structure of the market or to change structure or to change character then once that happens then we can actually start looking for some selling opportunity but until that we'll be looking at more buys into this daily key level at 1.39706 all right so let's look at one more trading instrument all right let's look at one more sorry one more currency before we go into commodity all right so this is actually usd jpy the jpy has been the strongest um currency instrument on the market for a while all right you can see this massive this is on the daily time frame on a daily time frame you can see how massive it has been all right Th throughout um the month of july we actually saw this instrument um trade about a thousand three hundred thousand three hundred pips for just the month of july that is a lot of money all right that's a lot of money but it's currently is actually trading um is resting on a key level support or demand zone at this particular level you can see how price reacted before there here and also here to the upside and it's currently trading at that level right so i wouldn't be looking at um i would just be anticipating some good some other sales all right because this is actually um the momentum on jpy is actually very strong all right so i would be patient for retracement or maybe um the market wants to be so good to give us this kind of healthy retracement then fine interesting we just want to um accept it then possibly take ourselves further to the downside all right to this level down here yeah to this key levels down here all right so that is what we'll be anticipating for the downside on us jpy or if the market doesn't ideally get to this point all right if it doesn't get it has gotten there before let's check it on the one hour it's quite clear on the one hour time frame you can see our price broke out we tested it and pushed down so ideally if it comes back there or if we're looking at it from the one hour perspective all right somewhere around the zone all right so somewhere around here if price can retrace into this level you can actually potentially look for some other selling opportunities back to the downside all right it is quite clear even if you probably want to draw out a trend line um yeah you want to draw the trend line well this has been a, um quite an interesting sell if you ask me all right quite an interesting sell but you know we just want to um wait for the, look for wait for the market to give us something quite good you know so somewhere around this level or this level because of the momentum of this particular instrument so we just want to be patient for all right sorry about that all right so you just want to you just want to be patient for what did i just do okay so you just want to be patient for the market to give you that move all right then you can actually take your sales to the downside all right so i mean 
any buys you see on this instrument right now is an opportunity to sell. So any buys you see is an opportunity to sell. So that is that is as easy as that on USDJPY. So let's look at um let's go to commodity which is oil oil WTI. You know last week guys we actually looked at this that as a very high chance that oil was going to come back into this demand zone down here at seventy three dollar per barrel and it actually got there all right got there even rejected from that level so um ideally right now what i'll just be looking out for oil is a possible retracement back into this level all right then we can look for more selling opportunities back to the downside all right i mean it's as easy as that although we have this um level here on the daily on sorry the one hour time frame all right, there's this level here on the one hour time frame, which could potentially push price down. So if the market doesn't get that momentum to continue pushing or push ideally to this level, then we will potentially see it stalling, we may see price stalling around this level. And if that's bearish momentum should continue, we could actually see some further downside on oil. All right, so let's let's try to see if our trend line will be of any good yeah all right so maybe we could just maybe we may see a range for price to come touch the trend line or me just move and touch the trend line just but somewhere around this level any bearishness you see around this level you want to take yourselves you know back down back to the downside all right so ideally we are we selling into so this is the next zone that we may see price come into yeah, this is the next. You can see how price reacted around this level. So that's ideally the next zone. We could actually see price or we'll see the market coming into. Oh. Sorry about that. All right. So yeah, this zone over here at 70. Is it up to $70? All right, $71.79 per barrel. Yeah, so that's actually what we're looking for for oil. So a retracement into this little zone on the one hour time frame, or sorry, this minor zone on the one hour time frame. Let's pick it out again. Yeah, this zone, then you can actually see any variations around this place. You can take your sales back to the downside at this level right so that that's for oil i don't i'm not actually seeing um any buying i'm not giving any buying buyers right now because anything i want to make me take a buy would be a long journey to the upside but yeah price may actually need to break completely break this um bearish momentum like it needs to break above the strength line for me to actually start looking for some buying opportunity but until then we're actually looking for more sales so any bearishness around this level a bearish candle close or a double bottom sorry double top which is a bearish reversal candlestick pattern you can actually take yourselves to the downside so last but not last last and the least <laughs> all right so we're looking at us 100 so us 100 has actually been very very bearish this is actually looking like a pretty large retracement all right this is actually looking like a pretty large retracement although the us 100 is currently trading at a key level all right it's currently trading at a support zone or a demand zone you can see how price reacted around this level when it broke it acted that resistance here broke above it we tested it pushed up now it's currently at that level again all right so if we actually see any strength from this level i mean there has been some um huge panic sell all right there has been some huge panic sell on the stock especially tech stocks recently i think i had i saw in news that um warren buffett you know has been selling off apple stocks which has, which has been giving a lot of negative sentiment to the stock market right we saw that we saw the dollar being weak on friday and looking at it generally if you're looking at dollar being weak we actually see us 100 pulling up but what happened we saw the reverse all right the dollar was weak us 100 was also weak all right so and we are clearly see that that could be the major effect of us 100 you know that panic sell and it prices or the market is still very very bearish if you ask me it's still very very bearish all right 
still very, very, very bearish. All right, so we can actually just be patient for US 100. Ideally, I'll be very patient to get a clear direction on US 100. If for any reason we see US 100 break below this level, then we could actually, I mean, it's going to be a huge sell off. Well, somewhere around this level, I, I, I mean, this is the next ideal key level. And if you're starting to sell all the way to this level, wow, it's going to be really, really, really scary and interesting at the same time. Although we have this level over here. All right, let's take it one step further. Let's not look too far. <laughs> let's not look too far, right? So, but if we see any breakout below this level, all right, let's delete this one. All right, so if we see any breakout of this level, price should trade below this level. So on the on the one hour time frame, let's just make it very, very easy. All right, let's make it quite easy. You want to put your sell stops below this level, right? So once there's a breakout below this, um, below last week low, then you can actually continue selling the market down to this point. All right, so that is, is as easy as that. I'm not going to give any buying buyers. I'm just looking at more sales. All right, so and ideally, that would be the best bet. A sell stop below this level, you can actually take your sales back down into this point. All right, so thank you, guys. It's been an amazing um, analysis. It's been an amazing overview. It has been an amazing insight, even for me, for today's or uh, for this week's insight or um, opportunities that the market will be presenting is presenting to us all right so thank you guys um if you're yet to subscribe please do so before you end or before you um this video ends all right like the video if you're yet to like it also share with your friends share with those people that begs you for money let them make money for themselves also and also put down in the comment section what you will love us to locate into the video you want what the instrument you love us to analyze later or during our weekly analysis all right so thank you everyone have an amazing trading week. Trade profitably. Make sure to use a stop loss and make sure you take your profit as much as you can. All right. Thank you, guys. Have an amazing week. Bye for now.